all organisms are composed of cells some are composed of a single cell and are called unicellular organisms while others like us are made up of many cells are called multicellular organisms there are two basic types of cells that is prokaryotic cell and eukaryotic cell the word prokaryotes that comes from greek words pro means before karyon mean nucleus and prokaryotic cells are represented by bacteria blue green algae and archaea and the word eukaryote that comes from greek words meaning true nucleus and eukaryotic cells are represented by animals plants and fungi average diameter of prokaryotic cell that varies from 0.5 to 5 micrometer but in case of eukaryotic cell their average diameter that varies up to 40 micrometer dna is naked in case of prokaryotic cell because nucleus is absent so dna is directly present in cytoplasm but in case of eukaryotic cell dna is associated with a protein that is called histone to form chromosomes and chromosomes are present inside the nucleus so dna is present inside the nucleus in case of eukaryotic cell endoplasmic reticulum are absent in case of prokaryotic cell and endoplasmic reticulum they are present in case of eukaryotic cell membrane bound organelles like mitochondria golgi bodies chloroplast etc they are absent in prokaryotic cell but present in case of eukaryotic cell cell wall in case of prokaryotic cell that is composed of peptidoglycan or murin but in eukaryotic cell cell wall is composed of cellulose lignin or chitin this is a bacterial cell that is a prokaryotic cell dna is directly present in cytoplasm there is no nucleus and ribosomes are directly present here in the in the cytoplasm but these ribosomes which are present in bacteria they are called bacterial ribosomes or prokaryotic ribosomes because they are slightly smaller in size as compared to eukaryotic ribosomes this is a plant cell in plant cell there is a nucleus so it's a eukaryotic cell and uh, chloroplast golgi body mitochondria endoplasmic reticulum vacuole etc all these cytoplasmic organelles they are present in a eukaryotic cell and dna is present inside the nucleus which is associated with histone protein to form chromosomes this is animal cell that is eukaryotic cell and uh, there is clear nucleus and cytoplasmic organelles structures they are present in cytoplasm some structures they are always present in prokaryotic cell like cell wall in bacteria the cell wall that is composed of peptidoglycan or murin inside the cell wall is cell membrane and inside the cell membrane is cytoplasm and cytoplasm that contains circular dna that is sometime referred as chromosome so this is the naked dna which is present in cytoplasm ribosomes are present in cytoplasm but these are bacterial ribosomes they are small in size as compared to a eukaryotic cell additional structures which are sometimes present in prokaryotic cell that includes a flagellum it is used for locomotion in some bacteria capsule which is present uh, outside the cell wall that is for additional protection sometime cell membrane is enfolded and these enfoldings of cell membrane they are used in the process of photosynthesis as well as in nitrogen fixation extra chromosomal rings are present in cytoplasm and these extra chromosomal rings are called plasmids plasmids are present in case of prokaryotic cell they are made up of dna and some bacteria they have these structures which are called pili for the attachment to other cells and they are involved in sexual reproduction so ribosomes are present in prokaryotic cell ribosomes are also present in a eukaryotic cell but in a eukaryotic cell these ribosomes they their size is 80s 
but in case of prokaryotic cell these ribosomes their size is 70 s this is a summary of prokaryotic cell and eukaryotic cell as we know average diameter of prokaryotic cell is 0 0.5 to 5 micrometer and in case of eukaryotic cell that is up to 40 micrometer DNA is naked in case of prokaryotic cell but in case of eukaryotic cell DNA is associated with protein which is called histone to form chromosomes and chromosomes are present inside the nucleus ribosomes which are present in prokaryotic cell they are slightly smaller and that is 70 s but in case of eukaryotic cells these ribosomes are slightly larger that is called 80 s endoplasmic reticulum they are absent in prokaryotic cell but present in eukaryotic cells and some organelles which are bounded by single membrane for example lysosomes golgi body and vacuoles some organelles which are bounded by two membranes like mitochondria chloroplast and nucleus and some organelles which are not bounded by membrane like ribosomes centrioles and microtubules they are present in a eukaryotic cell in prokaryotic cell ribosomes are present but membrane bounded organelles are absent and the cell wall that is composed of peptidoglycan and murine but in this case the cell wall that is composed of chlor that is composed of cellulose lignin and chitin i have a question for you write your answer in the comment section the presence of membrane enclosed nucleus is a characteristic of prokaryotic cell eukaryotic cell living organisms bacteria